Hi guys, Happy New Year's, Merry Christmas. Yes, I know we're in like two weeks in, whatever. I know, but I am back and um, I hope you guys had a great New Year's, a great Christmas. I did, I spent it with my family, best way, of course, obviously, duh. And yes, I got my hair done, finally. I was so overdue, my roots were like down in here and I always get really good compliments on my hair. Even when I had it like down in here and it was like kind of like a silver. I go to a place called Lather Lounge. I'll leave it down below. I always get compliments, I always get asked where I go. But my secret was purple shampoo. So yes, it's like this first, but then when I use a purple shampoo, it gets like all the brassiness and yellow. So it goes to the silver, a little bit of purple in it. it looks really pretty. Yeah, so today's look um, is kind of inspired by my nails. It, they're like a dark navy blue with a silver. These were like my New Year's nails. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and do a look on that. I already have my full face. I did my foundation, contour, all that, my brows. So we're just going to go right into eyeshadow really quick, really easy. Today I'm going to be using my mom's palette. This is Mascara Beauty. This is her big old palette. It has like four different things. So those like are all the foundations. Those are all the blushes and um, lips. Leap, leap. This is the lip and cheek. Uh, the illuminators, so freaking pretty. Then eyeshadows. Some more highlights. This one, bomb, bomb. These are her newest eyeshadows right here, the sparkly ones. I did use this silver shade. I did use this show. Did use this show. I did use this silver shade on New Year's. So freaking pretty. The pigment was so pretty. The formula is so nice. Um, of course, going into my Sonia Keshek brush. So first, I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade. It's called Bubba. Okay, and for this, I'm just gonna go ahead and put that right on the crease, going toward up towards my brow bone. Yes, I already primed my eyelids as well. I have to go really lightly on this eye or this brow bone right here because my friend threw my phone on her bed and I was laying on her bed. It literally bounced like on my face so it hit me like right here and right here like the corner. So it hit my nose and right here and it hurts really bad whenever I do my eyeshadow or my eyebrows because it's like right on the bone. Horrible, I know. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with Zion. I'm going to take that with my Morphe M513 brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and focus the shade a little bit into the crease. And I'm just going to go ahead and go back and forth, back and forth. Alright, so now I'm going in with my Morphe 35B palette. And I am going to go ahead and take this blue shade right here, the matte blue. And I'm taking that on a Morphe M433 brush. And I'm going to focus this on the outer corner. So I'm just packing this right on the outer corner. Bringing it in just a little bit in the crease not too much just mainly focusing it right on the outer corner just like so all right so this is what i have so far same thing to the other eye okay so now that i have all this put down okay so now i'm going back in my morphe m513 brush and i'm just going to go ahead and blend out the edges mostly in the crease just blending the blue and the um mauve shade together okay so now that i have all that put down i am gonna go ahead and cut my crease just halfway taking my tarte shape tape concealer taking a synthetic brush this is from mac and i am just gonna go ahead and start in the inner corner like i normally do Oh my god, I'm like so focused, that's so funny. Okay, so now that my crease is cut, I'm gonna go ahead and use this beautiful silver shade. This one is called, called Shenandoah. Also pretty and so creamy. Do you guys see that? Oh my god. Okay, so for me, what works best is going in with a synthetic brush. This is Morphe M170-2. So I'm just gonna go ahead, look at Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just look at, oh boy. I don't know if the camera is getting the full effect, but zoomed you guys in just a little bit more so you guys can see. 
I didn't set the concealer. It is still a little tacky and I feel like that works best for this um, glitter so it sticks a little bit better and literally a little goes a long way. You can also use your finger if you don't have any synthetic brushes. I would recommend using your finger because it wouldn't really work as well with the bristle brush and I learned that the hard way. Oh my god, look at that. And it's so creamy, like it's ridiculous. Alright, so now that I have all that down, going in back into the same blue and the same brush that I used. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend out the edges where the silver and the blue meet on the outer corner and on the top. So I am going in with the Morphe M513 brush and going in... So I'm just going to go in with the first shade, which is Bubba, and I'm just going to go ahead and blend the top part of my brow bone out, so where the blue and Bubba met, just so everything is blended out nicely. There's no harsh lines anywhere. Going into my e.l.f. smudge brush, I'm going to go ahead and take Bubba and put that all underneath my, my bottom lash line. I feel like browns and blues go really well together, so that's why... I use Bubba as my transition shade. I don't think I'm going to go really dark on the blue for the bottom lash line. So I seen this color. So pretty. Like an aqua blue, light blue shade. I know I said I wanted to do like a dark blue that matches my, my nails. But oh well. So this one is called Bayou. I'm going to go ahead and take that on a NYX little smudge brush. It's my favorite. And I'm going to put that literally right on my lash line. The brown actually like calms down the blue in my opinion. I feel like it's not as bright. Like I mean the top shade. Like if you look at the palette it was really blue. And then going on it's like a really light blue. And I'm pretty happy about that actually. So just putting that right on top of my lashes. Just don't poke yourself. In the center. Oh my god because I've done that. So now I'm going to go ahead and take this illuminator. It's called Glamazing. So pretty. Oh, did you guys see? I'm going to take my Morphe Y22 brush. And I'm going to put that in the inner corner. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and do my eyelashes. I recently got put on these car lashes. I did have car lashes a long time ago. But they were like the really dramatic ones. The ones I used for my werewolf video. And um, I was looking at some more and these ones, my friend actually put me on. These ones are Cara 605 um, Black. These are my favorite now. So I'm going to go ahead and pop on some lashes. I'm going to do my lips and I'll be right back. All right, and I'm back. So of course, popped on some lashes, did my bottom mascara. Yeah, my bottom mascara. For my lips, I did the LA Girl um, lip pencil in cafe um my nyx soft matte lip cream this is in london and topped it off with my fenty beauty um lip gloss so this is the final look i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching i hope you guys had a great new year's a great christmas and um let 2019 be our year you know if you guys have any other looks you want me to do or recreate just let me know down below and thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you guys next time bye okay so now i'm going so okay all right so now that i have my cut my crease now that my crease is this ugh.